My name's Marion Drew and I come from Brisbane and I'm an artist that's been invited to work at the Hazelhurst Art Gallery and Art Centre and I did a residency here in January, February 2013. For some years I've been working um, with uh, natural environments and uh, human responses to natural environments. The, the Royal National Park um, has this fascinating history. I hoped that, you know, through photography and video that, that we'd set up some windows back through the gallery to the park and invite people to go basically to the park. <laughs> um, but also, you know, to maybe think about the way um, history forms our um, understanding and, and perception of, of what the park is and how we how we relate to it now. You know, it was set up as a sort of a playground for Sydney side, um, you know, early colonists to come and um, experience nature in or to have this kind of nature garden um, right close to a city. So originally they, they did introduce deers, rabbits, foxes for the purposes of hunting and as well as introduced um, trees, ornamental trees, um, there was the whole European garden landscape that they were trying to replicate in the colony. My expectations of the park were quite different. I had an imagination of a kind of wilderness. So when I got here I, I realised that it, it was a very, very well loved and well used park. It seems very much a human centred park. The porcelain figurative sculptures I had been collecting for some years uh, because I was fascinated with their um, sort of humorous, um, light-hearted, uh, kitsch-like view of nature. So they encapsulated this historical view that animals were really for entertainment um, and decoration. Uh, so. But I, I started to use them and try to find a way of using them, so I, I started sort of sticking them together with plasticine and making new figurines with them um, because they're so loaded. Uh, we all, they're very familiar, so I was trying to sort of block out and uh, reform them. I was looking for landscapes that a kind of housing for these figurines, a, a kind of um, visual pun perhaps, you know, you would find something in the landscape that would, could play off the figurine, you know, in terms of colour, form, so there was some sort of visual relationship. So I was looking for those things, but I didn't know how they were going to come together. The video work is a much more meditative, um, work about you know duration, about um, you know the ephemerality of humans with this grandeur of a tree and um, kind of uh, you know that everything is like ghosts in relation to this, this this tree that stands and overlooks the water. And then the photographs are much more sort of ridiculous and playful. Uh, much more a reference to our inheritance of you know, 19th century ideals. I suppose in the end I'm trying to turn back that human-centric view. I've always been interested in people that challenge the rules of photography. So for my influences I went back past sort of the American purist photography into sort of modernism and um, artists that were using photography like the surrealists the, the Bauhaus, very experimental approaches to um, the photographic medium. Digital photography is just a part of that continuum, but it does clearly put photography as a relation to painting. And that's very liberating, ultimately, um, because, you know, the, the rule book again is thrown out the window and, and you can say, well, you know, what happens now? What can we say with this idea? or um, with the new rules. Mm -hmm.